compromise system has many nuances, but basically every machine where a person who is not authorized to control the process has some form of control over it, be it in completely taking it over, but it can also be a, something as simple as uh, influencing the results it's returning in future, that's a compromise. And there are basically every single time uh, a program can, is doing something which it would normally not do system or program in this case by it by extension a system is compromised. A, a buffer overflow is very simple to, in, to initiate if the buffer which is uh, provided in which the, the data is read is located on, on the stack. A, a stack is simply a piece of memory with different locations on it. Uh, one of the pieces of information which is stored on the stack is the return address, for instance, of, of code. And the return address is simply something which the processor is using to know from where the call to a certain function initiated. So if you now imagine that the same program contains in the, in the number of addresses a buffer, and this buffer is contained also on the stack and the program itself then reads data into this buffer, which normally would only extend to this point. It would say, well, it fits into the buffer and it would not touch any piece of memory. If you have a buffer overflow, if you have a program which is incorrectly handling memory, the, the data might not stop at this point. It might write over data up to perhaps this position. The, the attacker will, in the case of a buffer overflow, in a very simple situation, provide as part of the data which is written to the program in the buffer overflow, uh, actual program code. So it would then tell the program to do things like open a socket and listen on it and whatever data is written to the socket from the outside, is written into a shell and therefore executed as a command. It's a very simple thing. It can be done in as something as little on 30, 40 bytes. You can write something like this. So I have a buffer overflow of 30 or 40 bytes uh, in this area, and then it's touching the return address. And if the return address is then used at some point by, by the program because it's returning from the current function, uh, the return address can be redirected to beginning of this code and suddenly voila the program is taking over the attacker is now under control and it will execute from that point on only this code which the attacker provides this specific attack has been first prevented by making the memory which is used by the stack not executable at that point it is not possible anymore to redirect execution to this point because memory regions are either executable or they are not in modern environments. And if you try to redirect the execution in the form of a return address to this code, which is not executable anymore, the process will simply stop existing and the exploit is not successful.